Hi you guys, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey. Today we're going to be, well, I'm going to be showing you all a few of my current favorite pieces. Some of them are clothing, some of them are accessories, and some are just some random things that I have in my apartment. So let's get into it. <music> is obviously what I have on. This is the Realization Par, the Elton John For Real. This is their collab on the t-shirt. I absolutely love this shirt. I love the material. I just love the vibes that it gives, you know? Like, like, it's just really cool girl vibes. Second favorite, this is actually my boyfriend's hat. I've gotten really into trucker hats recently. I have a few of them, but after buying them, then something came out about the owner of the brand. I will no longer be wearing those hats. I think you all know what I'm talking about. So now I'm just using his until I can get some more. This one's from La Ropa. I don't know, I just really like the way it fits and it looks good on me and him. Sad thing is though, is I have to go up a size because my head is ginormous compared to his. Okay, absolutely love are these Almighty t-shirts. I have this one here. This is the Angel and Devil. I think it's Betty Boop. I, I don't know. And then just the regular Almighty tee with the orange trim and the yellow. I absolutely love the way these fit. Honestly, on their website, it's a little misleading because I'm like, what the hell does the quality look like? But it's fantastic. It's like really stretchy. It's just soft overall. I was worried about what size I should get, but it is pretty true to size. This is a small. I can't wear an extra small because I'm a little bigger here. But other than that, these fit so well. These are just great. And I cannot wait for the weather to warm up so that I can wear these. This is another shirt from Realization Par. Like I said, I absolutely love them. If I could have them send me everything on their website, I would enjoy that very much. Please sponsor me. This one is their Libra t-shirt. As you all know, I am a Libra, you know? This is their Libra tee, same material, and that's what I like. Normally, when I've ordered something from a website and I think it's gonna be similar to what I have, it's a completely different material or a completely different something, and I'm just not fucking with it, okay? Now, this one came with a tie-dye kit, which I have not yet tie-dye, and I cannot wait to do so. The colors are yellow and blue, which I think would be really cool. It comes with like a little like bag and hopefully some instructions because realization tie-dye for real. Yeah, oh yeah, here's the instructions. So I can't wait to tie-dye that and customize that. I really like that idea. I don't know, it goes along with, you know, your zodiac. Like everyone's so different or they'll like try and guess what you are, but now it says that I'm a Libra but no one's gonna know how I'm gonna tie-dye it. I personally don't know how I'm gonna tie-dye it. It might really look bad. The last time I tie-dyed something, I think my mom did it for me because I was embarrassed to go to school, in middle school maybe? So, that's what's happening. Next is another shirt from Realization 4. I just, guys, I really like their stuff. This one I have not worn yet. The tag is still on. Honestly, now see, all the other shirts I've gotten are small. This one I maybe could have gone up to an extra small, but I don't know how it would have fit here. I just worry about the length. Maybe I can just shrink it in the dryer because I tend to do that so much. This one is the little cow boy. You know, doing this. I just think it's really cool. I actually saw Emma Chamberlain in this shirt after I had received it, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Next is this cowgirl baby tee from Brandy Melville. Now, keep in mind, I don't like a lot of Brandy Melville stuff because it is one size fits all, and that just doesn't work. There is no one size fits all unless it's like a fucking blanket, okay? This shirt seemed to be okay. It was a little tight on the arms up through here, so I pulled on that a little bit. I thought I made a hole in it, but I didn't. I really love the way this fits. Again, material is not as great as the Realization Par, clearly. It does have a nice stretch to it and it is very comfortable to wear. And I just think it's really cute. Cause I am from Kentucky. I'm not a cowgirl, but it plays into itself. I don't know. Next thing, now this is from Aritzia. This is just a full on zip. It zips all the way up. I really like this with some yoga pants or with like some low rise jeans. I think it looks really cool. You could unzip it some to show your jewelry and the collar is supposed to be like up. So it's, it's really neat. I love this and it's super like, look at this. It's very stretchy and I'm here for it. I am here for it. Now you might have to wear some pasties with it because if you get cold, it's like, but that's about it. Now this is one of my favorite 
items that I think I have in my closet and I definitely want to get more stuff from them or they can send it to me, I don't know, we'll see. This is from House of Sunny. This is their sweater. Now this was the first one that they made. They made another one that has nude instead of the orange here, but I really just love the colors in this. It's really like soft and light, but yet warm. It's just all in all, it's a 10 out of 10. This is one of my favorite pieces. The only thing I will say that I wish was a little bit different, the buttons like this one, I sometimes if I button it up to wear it, I have to like pin it underneath, but I'm probably just gonna go take it to someone to get the button tightened or something. But I didn't like that. That's the only thing that I just did not like. But it even looks cute like if I threw this on underneath it. It's a lot of pattern, but it's really cute. Next thing I have is also from Aritzia. This one is their puffer, and it's like a cropped puffer, but the sleeves are really long, which I like. A little confusing on the size, but I got a extra small. I like this one because if it's kind of cold, you really don't need your coat. It's, it is extremely thick. Like I cannot express to you how thick it is. The only thing is you will be able to feel wind. So I definitely recommend like tucking in a shirt to something if you know you're gonna get cold just cause it is a little cropped. But I love this and I love the way it looks and it was actually on their sale, so better next thing that I love is this mad happy sweatshirt I literally live in this thing I got a size extra small I believe now they made it fit like oversized which your girl loves so the sleeves are really baggy and then this part fits so well so it gives like that baggy feel that you would in a sweatshirt that's like oversized but it fits so nicely underneath here that it is fantastic. And I think I just spit on camera and it's probably gonna pick it up. I hope not. Now I will say the only thing that I do not like about Mad Happy is that I have had another sweatshirt from them. It's not the same material as this one. This one's stretchy, this one's lightweight, but yet warm and comfortable and just cozy. Like I, I wear it all the time. Whereas the other one that I have is just not, it's like a thick t-shirt and it doesn't really like move. You know, so not not here for that one. This I thrifted in Kentucky when we went home for Christmas. This, what do you call this? Sweatsuit. If I figure out what it's called, I'll put it here on the screen. My, my brain's just not working. This is from that Sergio to. I'm not gonna butcher the name either. I'm just gonna put it up on the screen. I thrifted this. I love it. I wish they had pants to match it because your girl would totally be rocking the pants as well, but unfortunately they didn't. My mom used to have a jacket like this back in the day. If you all look back at my old vlog, she tried to deny it just because she doesn't remember, but she did. You did, Carrie. You did. I asked her, I was like, where did you get that? I didn't have one of those, Mary Elizabeth. She did. Now let's get into some pants. These are from Reformation. I am not going to try these on because I have to get them tailored. They are way too long, but you would see like Kendall Jenner, Gigi Hadid, Haley Baldwin, all the gals. They are supermodels and a lot taller than me. These are so long, they're so cool. I really like when jeans button up instead of the zip because I don't know, I just like that. Now it is a little annoying if you really have to pee. You almost wanna rip them off. These are their comic jeans and they're so cool and so cute and I just, I cannot wait to wear them. I'm living for these. They are actually very comfortable and soft, which I love, which you, sometimes you can't find in jeans. A lot of the jeans that I have are so structured that like they literally fit just me standing up. If I try and bend down, I might bust a hole in my ass. Next pair of pants are the infamous Aritzia Wilfred pants. These are the vegan leather. Now I will say that I went up a size in these because they do run kind of small. So normally I'm a double zero. So I went up and got a zero and it says on their website, that's one thing that I like about Aritzia. They understand that like people can't come in and shop now really, or at least try on. So they're gonna help you as much as they can online. And there's like a customer service number that you can call too. So I love these. These are my absolute favorite. They look so cool. And if I spin one more time, my mouth is dry. Don't ask why, I don't know. But um, yeah, I remember these sold out and I was pissed but I got them before. I was thinking to myself, I was like, do I really need these? Like, it's kind of hot. But then I remembered, I was like, last year, you know, I tried to get these and they sold out, so I might as well order them this season beforehand, and that was very smart of me. They're so comfortable. They are so comfortable and so soft. I remember I was walking and Alham like touched my leg and he looked at me, because I guess he thought that I like didn't have pants on, but I was like, no, I do have pants on, but I'm flattered you think that my legs are this soft. Amazing, fantastic. Next, let's get into some hats besides this one. Bear with me on my hair. 
it's just like, you know, I did my makeup and then I was like, holy shit, my hair looks terrible. Let me just wear a hat. Here we go. Here comes the hat hair, the hat hair. All right, these hats are from Lack of Colors. It's not looking good on camera, but it looks really cool in a picture. I think I could have gone a size down maybe, but see, no, it fits my head. But it's really cool. It's oversized look, put some shades on and your mask, you're killing it. No one's gonna know who you are. This one is terry cloth. So this one's more like a vegan leather, I think, and it has a little pocket right here, which I think is really cool. This one's good for summer. Now for this one, I, I like to wear it down or I flip it up. Like, hey, I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna have, what would I have? Like a lemony, sparkly, vodka soda -y type of drink. Some french fries and don't talk to me. And I'm gonna be really cool. This is the vibe in this hat and I'm here for it. All right, let's um, cover up my hair, please. I, I'm gonna order some food here soon. I just don't know what I want. There's this really good salad that I like from Westville, but I have to get steak on it because who eats a salad with no freaking protein? That's some rabbit food, man, okay? My other favorite is this little bag from Strahd Clothing, I think that's how you pronounce it. Now keep in mind, don't wear this if you need a lot of shit because there is no way. My wallet, barely fits in there. It's just really cute. I love this little bag and it's so like just chic and cool. Now I will say you need to also wear it when your shirt is not very thick because otherwise it falls off the shoulder. So that's the downside. Now, my finger orange. I don't know, I put on self tanner. The only place where it really collects is like right where my ring is. That looks like poop. Looks like I've been digging in a reptile. Another item, I have another one of these. It's pink, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna show you one of them. This one is from the Mighty Company and I checked it as well. If you breathe through it, it will not blow out a lighter, which is great. Cause that's the test, right? Love this, super cute. We love it. I love these clips. I ordered them off Amazon. It's just really nice to just kind of just pull your hair up, twist it up, you know, give a little model off duty vibes. We're here for it. I got this from Christmas. My lovely Nani got it for me. She was like, uh, can you think of what you want? And I was like, honestly, I just want a weighted sleep mask because I need some help in that sleeping department. This one is from Gravity Blankets. I like the weighted part for a nap, but if I'm sleeping, like it just falls off and it kind of is uncomfortable. So I take the weight out and use it as a regular face mask. But if I'm like napping or resting or if I have a headache, I recommend these for everyone. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. This one, I might be a little late on the trend. This is the Vivian Westwood pearl choker thing. Let me just slide this bad boy on real quick. Now it is extremely overpriced for, she literally says that it's a costume jewelry, like we all know that. This, don't shower it. It might turn green or your neck will turn green or something, but I'm here for it and it's cute and it's trendy and it, even if it wasn't trendy, who cares? It's cute, I like it, okay? I actually thrifted this as well when I was in Kentucky. I don't know why, I just love this. It's a little Garfield jewelry holder. It says, I love to wake up early, it's like this. Then on the inside, what do I have in here? I have another cover for my camera. I have my two SD cards, a lucky penny, the earrings that I, you guys always see me wear. But on the inside, it says, the earlier you set your alarm, the longer you can oversleep. Makes me like wanna keep my bedside table organized because who keeps their bedside table organized, let's be clear. Now listen, do I use this all the time? No, does it make me wanna be productive when I'm feeling unproductive? Yes, does that mean that I will still use it all the time? No, but occasionally your girl wants to be really productive and use it. Half of the time I'm so like <laughs> everywhere that I don't even need to write it down. I just go ahead and get it done because otherwise I'll be thinking about it and I'll just go mad, like I will go mad. This is the Getting Stuff Done Planner. This is by CGD London. I really like it because it has the day that you can write in, the quote of the day, your today's plans. I'm getting my nails done, don't worry. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, just because when I'm busy, I have a hard time keeping up eating or figuring out what to eat and I normally just snack on a bunch of random shit. Almond Joy, cheese, quesadillas, chips, 
um, enjoy. And I need to actually be focusing on nutrition. And it has your shopping list and expenses, daily exercise, water, self-care, and any personal notes. Now, I have used it a few times um, here. You know, um, so yeah, this I like this because it makes me want to be productive. I'm not 110% there, but I'm getting there. Everything is work in progress, people. Okay, so you guys have seen it in my videos before. It's the Summer Fridays Lip Butter. I am obsessed with this. I don't know what else to say about it because besides the fact that I'm obsessed, and you just have to try it for yourself, and it is worth every penny in the whole entire world. This shit is the bomb. That's all I have to say. Let's move on. My next favorite are these Vallejo, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just gonna put it up on the screen. These are the Dixie. I feel like I am old school famous actor that, that smokes cigars and has a fur mink coat and it's just living their best life. So these are a vibe. Second favorite from the same brand. These are their Olsen. I just really like these. They're, I feel like, you know, a model off duty. Like, I want people to question who I am. Who is she? What is she doing? Where is she from? And wow, her dog is cute. The last pair of sunnies that are my current favorite are the Millie Bobby Brown's Vogue eyewear. These are like red and retro and you know, you can see through them. Oh, and it says I love you on it. Very cute. I feel like a mysterious bad bitch from back in the day that only smokes the long cigarettes, has a glass of red wine, but yet still eats chicken nuggets and french fries and just screams money. That sounds very toxic, but it's, it's a vibe, you know? As long as I'm not actually doing it, I can live through my through whoever I think these make me feel like through these sunglasses, okay? I almost forgot, I almost forgot. These Doc Martens, they are so cute, so chic, so edgy, so just D, all of the above. I mean, how cute. Okay, I'm not putting that up to my head because my head looks bigger. I have another pair of Doc Martens and I totally have to like wear them and like, and like, um, what's it called? When you, when you just step in shoes a bunch, wear them in, warn them, not warn them. I have to warn them, I have to warn them. No, I have to freaking wear them a lot, break them in, I have to break them in. These I didn't have to break in, I literally put them on the first day and I was like, this is either gonna be a love-hate relationship, and so far all love. And these are so comfortable, I think these are the one pair of Doc Martens that really did not bother me. These are the love of my life and I love them very much. They are so cute. I mean, I really don't know what I'd do without them. I can't wait for like summer so I can like wear them with some cute little white socks and like a little dress. It's a vibe, people. It is a vibe. This is my last current favorite, you guys. Now, it is COVID and there are a lot of people that get too close, okay? And you're not supposed to have people over unless they are tested or quarantined or maybe it's just your little bubble of friends whatever. If you do not have pepper spray, and if you are too scared to use pepper spray because you think you might spray yourself, this is the best thing for you. And if you need someone to get out of your house or apartment if they're bothering you, this is the best thing. This is the liquid ass fart spray. I got this off Amazon. I thought it would be funny. Yes, I wasted $10 on this. They brought this home with me for to Kentucky when quarantine first happened because I was like, I gotta bring a little commotion, you know? I gotta bring a little, a little spice to the family. I gotta spice it up a little bit, you know? Remind them of if they missed me or not, you know? So I went downstairs and I got my brother in on it and I was like, listen, I'm gonna spray this in the basement. I sprayed a shit ton of this in the basement. When I tell you, Jonathan called a family meeting immediately. So here's the thing, my mom freaks out and starts cussing and screaming. Jonathan's really calm and he's like, get everyone in here and everyone's more scared of him than they are my mom because my mom's not really gonna do anything. Jonathan, on the other hand, is like that silent but deadly killer. My mom will just cuss you out and hurt your feelings right then and there and then she's not gonna do anything about it. Jonathan won't hurt your feelings, but he will make sure he gets what he needs to out of you. After my mom has yelled at everyone, cussed out everyone, whatever Carrie does, Jonathan comes downstairs. He thought that there was old food down there, but he thought that like the plumbing was messed up and the basement was about to flood. Like guys, when I tell you this shit smells, it smells. 
family meeting comes, my brother and I are dying laughing, Jonathan and my mom are like, I want to get downstairs and start moving the furniture. I was like, well, fuck, I definitely don't want to do that. So I was just like, it's a, it's, I said, it's a prank, it's a prank. They were all irritated with me. So to make them feel better about themselves, I said, listen, I have two of these. You all keep one. Now there's some in their cabinet as well. Oh my God, look at Tokyo. She's playing in the snow. That big girl, you guys, she's four months old and 37 something point something pounds. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on Wednesday. I love you all very, 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 very much. Um, hope you enjoyed.